Hi guys, I am out camping today and I think it's the 19th of May. I've parked at Lane End and I've been following this leak down through and I'm with a good friend of mine, Tim. So yes, yeah, so we've been following this leak from Lane End um, and the side of the river obviously. It's an absolute glorious day, it's fantastic. There's some nice white clouds in the sky just to break it up a bit. Yeah, absolutely magic. Really enjoying it, got good company. And uh, yeah, we parked at Lane End, we got there at about mm, half past ten. And we've just uh, been bimbling our way down, as you do. So anyway, we've followed the leak to here. We're going to follow the Tavi Cleave up. And then we're going to take a right. And then uh, we're heading towards Fair Tour. So I'm going to stop and take some pictures. Uh, get the camera out. And uh, add them to the video as we go. So I'll leave you there for now. And I'll bring you back a bit later. But yeah, this is where we are. Absolutely lovely. Can't get much better than this. Hi guys. We've uh, just been walking from this direction here. Um, we're literally following the river up through. Uh, up in the distance we have Hair Tour. Chap Tour. And Sharp Tour. From this side they look like mountains. I think you need to be a mountain goat to climb up there. <laughs> but yeah, lovely day. Um, got a nice nice rock pool here. It's deep enough to swim in. Um, the water is very low at the moment. We've been having such good weather. Um, very little rain over the last sort of week and a half. But um, yeah, the river's quite low. But no, beautiful spot. Absolutely lovely. Anyway, we're going to go on and do a bit more and then we're going to stop for a coffee. I'll probably bring you back then just for a little chat. And uh, then we're heading off towards Ferratour. Hey guys, welcome to Fair Tour. We've uh, had a really nice walk up here. It's been an absolute cracking day. We're up on Fair Tour. Um, myself and Tim, we left from Lane End. We followed to Tavi Cleave. Um, the Ami Brook, I think it's the Ami Brook, something like that. Um, went round to the right and collected some water and up on to Ferro Tour. Um, <coughs> we've got three colleagues that have joined us. Uh, Robin Moon, Jay and Dave who's over there. So yeah, so tonight there is uh, five of us camping up here and uh, it should be a really nice evening. The weather forecast is good uh, for this evening and tomorrow. So yeah, really looking forward to it. Uh, I've got a different shelter to uh, show you this evening, uh, different than last week. Last week I took out the Cuban Trail Star, um, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but uh, I'll show it to you when, when I've got it pitched. I've not seen many people today at all actually. Um, an elderly couple we saw and a younger couple to have a picnic. So that's all we've seen all day. Um, but yeah, we just had a bimbo out here. We've um, not done nothing uh, too strenuous. It's not very far. Um, we came out from Lane End because um, 
most of the year coming out that way isn't it's not um, recommended route because sometimes it's impassable because of the flow from the rivers etc um, you know without getting wet and bogged down etc so uh, myself and Tim took the advantage of the weather today to come this way and uh, come up to Furtor but yeah there's a you know quite a lot of camping spots around here but uh, I think we're going to spread out a little bit anyway is uh, Dave Vaughan, he snores, yeah he snores a lot, so uh, yeah I don't want to camp near him tonight, it be like thunderstorms, oh yeah so a bit of a 360 affair tour, and we're on the other side, uh, yeah, it just looks like somebody's just chucked a pile of rocks there doesn't it? brought his dog as well. But yeah, I think we're sort of uh, camping in and around sort of main main centre of Ferritor, I think really. But yes. Yeah. Right then guys, um, we're all set up. There's five of us. Uh, three of them have gone to get some water. Two of us are up here. So, as promised, here's my next shelter that I'm trying out. It's the MLD Cuban Duo Mid with an Ookworks Inner. Uh, it's the first outing that I've had with this, but we're all set up. Um, yeah, <coughs> excuse me, liking it. Uh, <coughs> but I haven't slept in it yet, but, um, but yeah, I'm liking it. Um, we've also got uh, Robin over here, um, he's got the Hilleberg Enan, again very nice, very similar to the Acto, um, slightly different ends, um, the material I think is a 1000 rather than a 1200 or might be an 800 I'm not sure, that's looking very nice, and over here we've got Tim's with his uh, Duo Mid as well. And uh, this is the Sil Nylon Geo Mid. Um, it's quite a bit wider uh, than the Cuban one. But yeah, and he's got a Six Moons design inner in this one. Looking very nice. And then over here, Jay's brought his Hexpeak V4, I think it is. But, uh, these are also very good tents. Very sturdy, pretty bomb proof. And there's Tim, right. look. He's, he's making a cup of luck. <laughs> got to have your coffee. Yeah, you got to have a coffee, coffee, mate, isn't he? And then uh, Dave's uh, got his um, Cuban Duo Mid as well. Uh, same as mine. It's a little bit older than mine, I think. But, um, but yeah, and uh, he's got a... He's using his bivy bag and um, a quilt this evening. So, yeah, so... I mean, time now is just gone seven o'clock, so uh, I'm going to get a coffee on. But um, yeah, it's a bit of a dual mid convention up here. We got uh, three up here, so yeah, it's going to be a lovely evening. Birds are chirping away, no wind, the sun's still out. Yeah, it's lovely. Couldn't want for much better, really. Same as last weekend, really nice. Two weekends on the trot, I've had out on the moors and it's been cracking weather, that don't happen very often. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, going to get a coffee on and uh, bring you back later on. Cheers for now. All right then guys, I'm uh, just boiling up some water, going to make a coffee. Um, I've brought out my uh, Storming Norman 
cone system, titanium cone system. Um, this one is uh, last week. If you've seen the video, I brought the Avenue titanium ultralight 900 mil pot. This time I've brought my Alkit 750 uh, titanium pot, and uh, I've got a the same cone, or oh, sorry, different cone, but it's uh, from Storm and Norman and uh, titanium and uh, yeah just uh, boiling up some some water for my coffee the other guys aren't back yet from uh, fetching water don't think they're too far away but yeah it's glorious absolutely glorious Tim's out over the back there doing his cup of coffee a minute Yeah, it was a, just a little bit of a breeze, just enough to keep the midges away. But yeah, um, over in that direction is um, High Wheel Haze and Yestor, all over in that direction. Uh, I think that's Great Lynx Tour up there. Um, and uh, Har Tour over there, I think. But yeah, so... Uh, Great, lovely. Right, anyway, I'll bring you all back later on. We've all been awake since, I don't know, five, six, something like that. The wind's picked up, but we're all packed up, ready to go. Uh, as always, leave no trace. Yeah, we're all having a little chin wag before we separate up and go our separate ways. But yeah, lovely views. Cracking morning. Like we say, wind's up. Yeah, so this is the view this morning. Hi guys, we've uh, left Fair Tour. Uh, Fair Tour is just up over there in the distance. We are uh, been travelling down this way. Normally, this is um, an absolute nightmare to get through because it's really boggy. Um, but because we've had uh, you know just over a week of really nice weather, it's. Uh, yeah, nice, it's passable quite easily. Um, so we've come down uh, to this river, um, I think it's Ambrook or Ambrook. I've um, got the map out. But yeah, um, so we're heading down here, we're going to cross just over there as a ford. There's Tim Merlo. And then um, we're going to head up over that hill there where the grass is greener, and we're going to go around drop down into the valley, go up the river a little way, there's a sandy ford crossing and then we're going to traverse up the track um, which I think takes us up to Sharp Tor and then hopefully from there we're going to just sort of go along the top um, and then drop back down towards uh, Lane End. So where as yesterday we walked through the Tavi Cleave we're going to be following that um, but we're going to be up on the uh, high side rather than down in the valley. Hi guys we've um, just stopped and had a bit of lunch uh, well just a cup of coffee really and um, we've we decided in the end to follow Tavi Cleave back again um, and the reason for that is it's so picturesque through here and you know the weather's so nice you don't get to travel all the way along it you know because when you get the bad weather the river swells and sometimes it becomes impassable so yeah so we decided to follow it back so we are going back the same way that we came 
along the Tavi Cleef. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing much more filming um, because you've seen this, um, you know, on the way in. But we're going to uh, stop for a bit of lunch uh, at the Elephant's Nest on the way back. Um, we've had a really good time. Um, I'd like to say thanks to Tim for his company for the walk out the evening and the walk back. And also a uh, thank you to Dave Vaughan, um, to Jay, and also to Robin. Uh, had a really good night. Um, yeah, lovely. Uh, good bunch of blokes. Nice bit of banter. Talk about camping, you know, camping gear, like you do. So yeah, had a really nice time. So if I don't uh, do any more, then uh, it's a bye from me. And thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, drop us a like. If it's your first time visiting and you want to, drop us a sub or a comment below. Until the next time, bye-bye.